Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since we've been here, but I'm excited to be back, be sitting here, be filming and talking to you guys. Not really a whole lot to say. I mean, we all know how things have been. I'm in school, I'm working, and after I got off a of summer break, things just got really hectic with school getting back in. But I'm here. <laughs> um, and that's all that really counts, right? Is <laughs> showing up? I don't know. Regardless, happy to be here. Today we're just going to be doing a get ready with me. I don't really know what look I'm doing. I kind of do, but I kind of don't. So we're just going to kind of go with it. It's not going to be a tutorial. So please don't expect that. I'm going to try some new stuff that I have and we're just gonna chat, so let's get into it. Cheers. I have some new skin products I wanna try out. Okay, so one of the products I wanna try out is this LA Girl uh, like pigment. It's like a foundation pigment that you can use to uh, make your foundation like different tones. So this one's obviously yellow. Um, I'm gonna try out this primer. I've had it for a while, but I just want to try it again on my skin. Um, it's my physician's formula. It's their little spotlight uh, primer. So we're just gonna apply that to the skin. So how is everyone? I know things have just been, I mean, things have been how they've been. Like, I don't really need to tell you because y'all already know what it is. Um, but I know, you know, people went back to school. Um, I guess that's mostly it. I went back to school myself and it's been so hectic. We're in the middle of midterms. But how is everybody mentally? Like, let's do a little mental check-in. If there's something you need to unload about how things have been going, please feel free to do it down in my comments. It's a safe space. Um, and I will read it because nobody ever comments on my videos. So <laughs> I would really love to hear from you guys. So is everyone enjoying spooky season so far? Because I am. I went out and bought, I don't know if you guys can see it in the frame, but this cute little blanket from Target. It was only $10 and pumpkins all over it. And I just thought it was so cute. And I've got my black hair and my black nails and I just feel very in tune with what's going on. I think we're all a bit sad that we're not really going to be able to celebrate Halloween the way we want to this year because of Corona. Um, and Halloween's on the Saturday this year, which is so fun. Okay, so I'm going to mix this LA... Oh, I guess this works. I didn't even realize that I was doing this. I'm going to mix the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade Warm Beige. It's a little bit too orange for me. And then the pigment. And we're going to see how that goes. I'm, I'm really bad at matching my foundation, so I hope it doesn't go as well. Oh my god! Um, uh oh. <laughs> That's so good. You do not need. Oh, I'm just literally gonna be yellow. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know. Because now this is the foundation, but this looks really light. I'm just gonna blend this out and <laughs> see what happens because girl so I literally have not put on a full face of makeup since probably August I was honestly forgetting how I looked with makeup on I was forgetting just like how to apply makeup in general um so I was like really itching to just sit down and like put a bunch of makeup on my face and honestly I did something bad and I ordered a bunch of makeup like two days ago uh, when I really just had no business doing that but I did it anyways okay this looks good in the mirror I can't tell how it looks on camera. I think that pigment did it. I, I hope I did it. I hope I don't look, I hope I don't look crazy. Okay, so the next product that I got, I got this on a whim today 
because I wanted a new like cream like bronzer almost so I got this dream matte mousse foundation by Maybelline um it's like one of their old foundations from like way back in the day but um I got it because I was like oh that could act as like a nice cream contour I wanted something that was similar to like that Chanel cream bronzer obviously this is not Chanel it's not even cream bronzer but I was like I'm gonna give it a try because I feel like I heard someone talk about it somewhere maybe that's wrong maybe it's not I don't know but we're gonna give it a go so this is what it looks like I think I like how this looks but it blended out very nice like very seamlessly obviously because it's a foundation it's not gonna be real like stiff like some other contour products can be y'all remember that time I had something stuck in my teeth the whole video not this time <laughs> I look oh my god my chest so white I am so so awful at choosing concealer shades. They're always like entirely too light. Um, I think I just like a really bright under eye so I get a little carried away. But I'm going to try out this Makeup Revolution. Uh, I think it's like a high coverage, what is it called? Ultimate Coverage Concealer. So this little pot, very full coverage. This doesn't say medium sand and this was actually not the color I wanted. I wanted the one that was a bit more yellow. This one is very light. The packaging was very deceiving. Let me show you. Like look how white that is. Boy, this thing is so stiff. I'm not, I'm not used to working with pot concealer, so this is like very thick and very stiff. And the little amount that I feel like I needed, the amount that is in this pot, crazy. just happened to me but when I was blending out my concealer I was just like I cannot wait for the day that we can go out again I mean like really go out and like like I just miss getting ready and meeting up with my friends and just going out and like being out on the town I just miss it you guys and obviously like I'm I'm in public health and I'm very aware of the fact that like our society is probably never really gonna be the same again because of this pandemic um and that's okay you know you live and you learn but I just cannot wait until we can just go out man definitely tell that if you don't set this it will definitely crease it is very thick so i was going to use my banana powder but considering how light this is i'm going to use something with a little bit more tint so i'm going to use the maybelline powder believe that we have been in quarantine in the US for six months oh seven months I think we're going on seven months this month which is crazy because when it started in March I know we all thought we'd be out of here by June and July and that did not happen <laughs> 
and you know it is what it is it's really crazy but just tell me what you guys have been up to in quarantine like have you learned a new skill like how are you managing like have you been working out i've seen a lot of like people working on losing weight which is awesome i've been trying to do that I haven't done it but it is what it is okay while i'm waiting for this to set in i'm going to bronze i'm using black radiance face setting powders i you know what i think i'm about to put everybody on i know i've used these in me in me other videos I know I've used this in my other videos, um, but when I think about it, I've never heard any other YouTuber talk about these. They are their just like face powders, like a foundation powder. I was just Black Radiance Press Powder, and they are so soft and they're really affordable. I get mine from Target or Walmart, usually Target, because Walmart be a little bit ran through in their cosmetics section. Like everything just, I mean, I, I love Walmart. They have the deals but all their stuff is always like broken and open and spilled in their cosmetic section and i just can't deal with it in target honestly the prices are pretty much just as good um so that's where i usually get these and they are so soft and matte and beautiful and work lovely as bronzers for me they probably be a little bit heavy as like an all over face powder but probably still really good but yeah like check it out jump into eyes before I finish off the face because I don't really know which direction I'm going to go with blush and stuff. Alright, so I'm going to be using these two palettes on my eyes. Again, this isn't a tutorial, so I'm honestly just going to kind of play around, play, <laughs> I'm just going to play around with some shades until I come up with something I like, so just stay tuned. Okay, party people, we're back, finally. I finished my eyes and I put some lashes on. I used the Studio FX uh, by Ardell. They're like really flared out on the end and like fuller at the end. Um, but I cut these ones just a little bit on the inside that they really like. Um, and then on the eyes, I did this kind of like cool tone little bit like a soft cut crease a little bit of sparkle on top um i'll leave the palettes down below that i did it with and if you want like a really in-depth tutorial on it i can totally do that so now we're gonna fit on <laughs> so now we're gonna finish off the face and the lips i've been trying to decide what i want to do for I just shook my entire vanity and my mirror almost came tumbling down. I've been trying to decide what I want to do for my cheeks in terms of blush and whatnot. Okay, so finally I'm going to go in with this peachy blush down here. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in with new truffle lip liner by NYX and then this can't wait the Bee Stick by ColourPop. Okay, I forgot. 
So if I normally if I was gonna set my face, this is the setting spray I have right now. It's the Morphe Mattifying Setting Spray. But let me tell you guys, this shit is ass. It is ass. It's like it's good when it works, but it doesn't work like 98% of the time. Whatever the mattifying agent is in it makes the freaking nozzle so gunky and let me just let me see if i can show you guys you probably could, oh my gosh so i just sprayed it at my hand and look at this like white chunk <laughs> this white piece of semen that came out on my hand like i used this one time and i hadn't wiped off the nozzle and i sprayed it on my face and it literally shot in a stream directly onto my forehead and I had to fix it um so it's like it like it does mattify but they just need to fix this formula because it, it it's not it um I would definitely just purchase the regular one okay okay you guys I think this is it this is what we came up with when we were just sitting here playing around um what do we think? I'm, I'm into it. It's very cool, spooky season-esque. I'm here for it. Um, yeah, the videos might be a little bit more sporadic, but please feel free to check out all the other videos I've already uploaded. Um, there's some good ones on here. But that is it. This is the final look, you guys. I'm so happy that I got to sit down and talk to you guys and fill you in. And we just got to chat and like get ready. This is literally the first full face of makeup I've put on in months. So I'm happy I got to do it with you. Don't know when the next upload is going to be. Hopefully sometime next week. I think, <laughs> um, but I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy you guys are here. Um, please feel free to check out my other videos while you wait on the next upload. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Happy spooky season. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.